Course in Miracles Workbook Part 2 12 What is the ego? The ego is idolatry, the sign of limited and separated self, born in a body, doomed to suffer and to end its life in death. It is the will that sees the will of God as enemy and takes a form in which it is denied. The ego is the so-called proof that strength is weak and love is fearful. Life is really death and what opposes God alone is true. The ego is insane. In fear it stands beyond the everywhere, apart from all, in separation from the infinite. In its insanity it thinks it has become a victor over God himself, and in its terrible autonomy it sees the will of God has been destroyed. It dreams of punishment and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its enemies who seek to murder it before it can ensure its safety by attacking them. The Son of God is egoless. What can he know of madness and the death of God when he abides in him? What can he know of sorrow and of suffering when he lives in eternal joy? What can he know of fear and punishment, of sin and guilt, of hatred and attack, when all there is surrounding him is everlasting peace, forever conflict-free and undisturbed, in deepest silence and tranquility? To know reality is not to know the ego and its thoughts, its works, its acts, its laws, and its beliefs, its dreams, its hopes, its plans for its salvation, and the cost believe in it entails. In suffering, the price for faith in it is so immense that crucifixion of the Son of God is offered daily at its darkened shrine, and blood must flow before the altar where its sickly followers prepare its feast of death. Yet will one lily of forgiveness change the darkness into light, the altar to illusions to the shrine of love itself, and peace will be restored forever to the holy minds which God created as his son his dwelling place, his joy, his love, completely his, completely one with him.